Hello chickens, how are we today? It's Angela here of course and time to bring you another little tutorial which we're going to put into our little ladies journal so I hope you're having fun with this one. I'm very excited about it and I know so many of you are too so that's so lovely to hear. Thank you. Right, um, I've sort of earmarked a page here. Uh, this is the first signature. We've got those pages. Now, if you didn't see the order of how I put these together, these signatures, go and have a look at the previous video. I do have a playlist, which I will drop in the link into the description box, but you can look at any of the playlists on my channel for the Little Ladies Project. All right, so um, I'm gonna leave this side as it is, and I'm gonna go with this side over here. Um, so next to the bag for the little project that I'm going to put in um, the journal. Now, on the other side of that same page, so towards the back, is where I'm going to stick this little one like that. I'm going to put a little bit of stenciling there, that's all. Um, I'm yet to stick it down. Uh, I haven't done that yet. So I am going to just put this in over there. All right, so, oops, I've got it a bit skew now. That's all right. Right, so I'm going to just put that signature to the side for the moment, but bear that in mind, that's what we're going to do. This is what I've done. Um, I've got this that I've put together. Um, we're going to make one of these, um, but we're also going to make for the one signature, and I'm going to make one with a twist for the second signature. Right, so it will go onto the page, um, and I will stick that down at the end. Um, and this will be a pocket underneath. That's why I've got that there. All right, now I've made a very similar version for this for my Spring is Sprung journal. So that was two springs back. <laughs> Gosh, that was a long time. Time just flies, we were talking about it today. And then we've got this gorgeous little girl, which I've mounted onto a scalloped circle. Put on one of my little embellishments. There's a pocket. We've got two little bits of ephemera here and i've added tabs onto those with the beautiful ribbons from that bundle the ribbon bundle we've got some lace this flips up you can write there there's a right spot um, and then we've got this little pocket here with one of those little flowers we made in the uh, last video and um, two bits of ephemera that go into that pocket over there. So you've got a pocket there, a pocket there, and you'll have a pocket on the side. And I'll show you how that looks all stuck into my journal when we make the next piece. Now I'm going to show you how to make this and then I'm gonna add a little twist to it as well. All right, so for this one, I have used the background page, the lace. It's the uh, neutral lace page for this so just bear that in mind the blue pocket there and the floral these are from my add-on kit as is that this is just a strip of paper and some embellishments and this is from my ephemera pack which these are too all right so that's what we've got there so i'm just going to put that to the side over here and now i'm going to talk you through what you need to do to make the one that's going to have a little twist on it um, so it's that plus something. All right, so I've also gone with the lace page and I have gone with the blue one. All right, so you want a sheet of the blue background paper. Um, mine is A4, but it doesn't matter if yours is A4 or US size. The same principles are gonna apply. All right, okay, so you want that. I have folded it lengthwise in half. We'll get to that in a moment. Then um, some other piece of paper. Now I've just used a piece of card paper. This is craft paper, all right? Um, but it can be tea stain paper, all right? So, or uh, a piece of paper like a misprint. I just had this here and I thought I'm just gonna grab it. All right, it's too lazy to go downstairs and get a, a misprint, but you're not gonna see any of this, so it doesn't matter. Um, this, just grab a piece and I'll talk you through the sizes when we get to that. Um, I've cut out a background piece, so you want a piece of this for a background. And I've cut out a piece of this, which I'll give you the measurement shortly. They're all based on the height of one thing. So um, grab your papers. All right, so that's the paper side of things. On the other bits, um, I've got one of my triangular pockets. We're going to use that. This is the blue one. One with the green edges I stuck on over there. All right, um, then we're going to use the green version, olive 
version, the sage color of that. I've used the blue one on the other. All right. I have cut a strip from my gingham background paper, the same background kit as that. Um, it's just to go across there. All right. So that's that. I've taken another little circle. I've got that scalloped circle. That's because I've lost the other one, but I just thought, oh, well, I'm going to use this. This is from my, what's it called? Gemini cutting dies. This is the scalloped circle kit. You've seen me use that before. Um, I've got a piece of blue lace from the lace bundle. Um, I've also got flat lace, which we're going to use a piece of. I've got a long piece of this silver edged ribbon. I've got another lady, which I've backed onto. So we've got three ladies for this project. Um, those two there and that one. All right, so that's that. These are two inch circles and this is two and a half. Um, then I've got one more of those little flowers that we were making. I've got one of these little snippets of the lace, the navy lace. I'm going to use that. I have got a butterfly, two little uh, die cuts there. So we've got these two. And I'm going to use a little gold snippet there. These, This trim came from the freebie, which you get with your ultimate bundle. All right, so we're gonna use some of those. All right, now I've got an envelope here. I wanna just put all this back on this little tray. Yeah, I've got a little envelope here. I wasn't sure which I was gonna use. Um, probably this one. This is just a little snippet of ribbon from the ribbon bundles, both of them are. I have got my little wax seal thing here, which I wanted to put onto this envelope. This is a little mini envelope. So I thought if I had that at the bottom and then stuck the other on top, I'm going to see how that goes. So I've been having a little practice <laughs> because I haven't never, never done this before. But you'll remember that I did say to you, I've got this little silicone mat, which is amazing. And I bought these two little uh, wax seals. So that's a heart. And this one has still got this little, um, <laughs> I just had a go at it, little florals. Look how cute that is. So cute. And um, this is so easy to do. I've got a load here. I wanted to show you how easy this is to do. And I've never done this before. And I can't be bothered with flames and melting things. I wanted it straight, ready to go because I'm impatient. So what I did was I got myself a glue gun. Now, I had a glue gun, but this is my little learnings. If you're wanting to use these, many of these are sized. Now, these are an 11 millimeter stick and the glue gun I had was for a seven millimeter stick. So just check that what you have is going to work with what you the gun you have or like me, I actually now go buy another one. All right. So that was sad. But there we go. Now, um, all you do is I've had it heated for a, a while here. I've got my glue gun ready. You just put in the wax stick at the back and I'm going to use my left hand to do this. Um, I worked out that I need. Let's see now. Uh, how much I need, really. So I'm just sort of looking at it and it's about the size of a 20p in the UK, not much. And then all you do is take one of these, let's do the heart. And what I found out was I put it over the center and while it's still squeezing down, I want to make sure that it squeezes enough on each side. Now, I haven't quite put enough down for this. It's trial and error. But I can show you when I started off, they were looking like this. So very um, uneven and lopsided. Yeah. But when I was finished, they were looking like this. So you can see I progressed and I sort of managed to um, do this while it was pretty wet. All right. So there's that one there and that's drying. I'm going to try this one quickly. Let's try. Now you need to do the whole thing at once, really. So you, you shouldn't really be waiting like I am. So there we go. That's enough. And then you just take this. And get that on there and while it's still wet like I can see I can just sort of maneuver it where I need it to be it gives you a little bit of lead time and then you get that evenly enough around the edge now that can just do its thing over here 
I'm going to let it do its thing. I'm going to just turn off that gun quickly. Right, and we can carry on with our project. Now, I am um, going to take this. I've glued my little sides down for the envelope. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to try and use a little bit of this embroidered ribbon. And I want to get that sort of stuck over like that. Now, you can do it either side. You can do it at the top as well. And then I'm going to just take one of these, so we'll go with a heart, and then I'm going to use my fabric tack, I think. So it's just a case of seeing where I want to place it, and that's why I think I went with this at the bottom. So I'm just having a little work it out scenario here. Um, I can either have it like that, or I can put this at the top. Now you can put this, I suppose, straight onto your project, yeah, I think that probably looks all right. So let's do that. Well, I've been having lots of fun here yesterday, playing around. Always lovely. I love doing that. Don't get half as much time as you think I do to do <laughs> these sort of things, which is quite sad, really. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I want to just make sure it's not too close to the top there. Right, so we've got that down. I'm going to put a little bit more on there, like that. Just want to put that over the top, yeah. And then I'm going to just get that pretty much centralized on there. Yeah, so let's go for it. Really good. And then get that positioned here I think it's about there and I'm just going to hold it and then that's going to add a little extra bit to this which I wanted to do this for so long and I thought oh I've got to do it now we're doing a Victorian thing I just got to have a go at this so there we go that'll do its thing and set and how cute is that yeah so lovely right I'm going to put that to the side there if you're needing to put something on it to grip it, I would put a little bit of fabric on there just to protect the design because you never know this could ruin it. But I think it's all right and I'm just going to put it to the side. Right, next thing. Right, let's get started on this now. Really easy project actually, much easier than you think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue stick. Now I'm not stitching this and this is going to work fine. Right, so we just want to glue half of this. I folded the paper lengthwise in half, as you have do. I am going to, because I'm not stitching this, I'm just going to take my barely odds over here and I'm going to just get a little bit of this on the edge. This is just to keep it <laughs> sealed because I'm not, I don't have the best faith in glue sticks. nice and flat good right now what I want to do is um, I want to take my little pencil and I want to decide which side I want where and I think I'll make that the inside and that the outside now I'll do it the other way that's the inside and that's the outside so what I want to do is I want to just measure four and a quarter inches uh from the left okay and then i'm going to just take my little ruler and i'm going to just score on those lines so like that yeah there we go right now turn that over put your ruler back down i can see where that was and um yeah, I was right there. So put your ruler where it is. I can see the score line peeking through. And this is just what I do so I don't have a crinkle when it bends over. I just take that like that. And then it sort of does a good job of it without wrinkling the paper too much. Yeah. There we go. Right. Right, now that is what you need to do 
if you are going to be making this all right now um with the one that i'm going to make today i am going to make a little change for to this but that's what you're going to do and now we would carry on and stick those bits on but for the one that i'm going to do uh, with a little bit of a twist i'm going to grab another sheet of paper and we are going to do the same thing but we're not going to glue it together okay for the other one now the one that we're going to make that's slightly different to this what i've done is i've taken this piece of paper now this piece of paper needs to fit this side here without the flap all right so that is going to fit over onto that side there and i'm going to glue it like that over there all right so that's what i'm going to do except it's not on that side it's on this side <laughs> what am i like today right all right so like that okay so it's yours um yours is going to be slightly different if you're using a us letter side width and height wise so just measure the size of this a rectangle over here okay so i am going to take my glue i'm going to take this glue and it is that one there so i'm going to put some glue on the left hand side of this piece of paper like that liberal amounts I'm going to try and get it just left of that there and within those lines that's the fold line there and it's just a hair's breadth left of that there right now before we do it I'm going to put the glue on that side now And again, I'm going to just take this just to make sure that I get it to stay down for the long term. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to fold this bit over that. So I've enveloped this piece of paper. And that's why I say you're not even going to know that that piece of paper, what color it is by the time I'm finished. All right. So that is now covered over there we've got our flap that's going to flap down over there and while we are at it we need to put some glue on this bit here so let's just get some glue on the edges and everywhere down here okay match these up there we go. Just give that a nice flattening. You can do this with a ruler if you don't have a bone folder. Right. Okay. Right, so that should look like that now. And you've got that one in there. <laughs> Just getting my wits about me. That one's going to fold behind. Yeah, so that you've got it like this. And this one is going to fold down okay with any luck so let's grab the small ruler just hold that there and then just lift it up and hopefully with some luck it's not going to crease too much hopefully and that should line on there uh, on there really nicely i'm just going to give it a so we've got these folds here and we have got this like that so that's already covered while I'm doing all of this I'm going to take this piece now which I should fit here and cover this side I'm just checking I've got it there is some writing there so that's all right and I'm going to glue that down I did just think with my lace that perhaps I should um, wrap it round before I stick it down. 
I've got my flat lace and I wanted to get that over the base there, but I just had a thought, instead of just gluing it on the sides, I might just tuck it underneath here. So sorry, that was an afterthought, um, but I'm gonna try it. All right, let's get our fabric glue and we will put some on here, on the ends, on the scallopy bit, like that, and then a little bit up the sides there. So I'm gonna just grip that, and I wanna get it close to the bottom. Yeah, and while I haven't stuck this down yet, I'm gonna wrap it round there. It'll give a neater finish. It wasn't something I planned to do, but while I thought about it, <laughs> just before I stuck it down, which is probably not ideal. All right, so we've got those bits there, and then I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm gonna stick it onto the paper. I think it's easier. And you know, hindsight is an exact science. So yeah, I'm gonna also just wet this a little bit more and get that done. I'm just going to fold those ends over and I think it's just going to give it a neater finish. I'm just making sure it's not got glue on that bit. It's not too loose. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let's get that to fold over. There we go. Good. All good. Okay, guys. Now what I'm going to do is I've got that little pocket there and I wanted to just put a belly band in here. So not too uh, much in the way of um, bulk. So I've just taken this. This is two inches wide i've doubled it so it's four inches and the length of your paper here now mine is seven and a half inches but yours might be slightly shorter if it's um us yours might be a little bit shorter but that doesn't matter all right now um i'm going to stick this down over here let's just put on a couple of bits quickly so what I thought was, I take this little lovely ribbon here, I'm just going to throw, put this down the middle, um, just creating a little bit of a decorative bit. So I'm lining this up here, and just to make sure I get it reasonably straight, I'm going to just put my ruler there, and then I'm going to get this like a little stripe down the middle. It's just a guide, I'm not going against the ruler just so that I know I've got it pretty straight. And then we'll do it over the sides as well. So I'm going to just get that like that. Like that, and then I'm going to take the little girl, uh, or the young lady, and I'm going to get that stuck on there. So it's really simple belly band. Right. Now, um, I did have a butterfly somewhere, but I can always get to that. Right, that's then gonna just go over here, like that. So let's just use this and while it's here and then just get that stuff down so just a bit over there and a bit over there so that's all we're going to do we'll put some bits and pieces in there shortly all right now just turn that over gently this is going to go to the back so we won't need we're going to stick that onto our page we don't need to put anything there um, but what we do need to do is a couple of things here. So I'm going to take this little one and I've just scored it on the fold lines here. And because it's a little bit long, what I've done is I'm going to shorten it. So 
I want it to fit like that and I've made a score line just a little bit away this equaling the same gap there I've just made a score line straight down yeah I'm going to take my scissors like that and cut straight across so that will fold there and that will fold there right and then we can just give that a little bit of distress ink like this there you go and i'm gonna just get that glued down like that and then this little bit which will keep everything in which is a good way to do it so i'm going to get that stuck there like that move it over a little bit right and then just take your bone folder and squash that down right awesome now on this side i want to get that nice and flat and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this little bit of lace just across the bottom there like that. So I'm going to use my fabric tack again. Gosh, it's very gloomy here today. I, I've had to put the side light on just for a bit of warmth. <laughs> I'm going to just open that up like that and get that stuck across there like that. Yeah, these are really easy to make and you can do this in any theme, guys, really easy. Great one to have in that reference journal. Now I've taken the pocket, folded all the sides together. I have cut a little strip, which is just five blocks wide effectively, and I'm going to stick that straight across there. So I'm going to do that before I put it on. and Get that sort of centralized. It's a little bit wider than it needs to be and that's just because i'm going to fold the edges over like that yeah flatten it and then again we've got this little girl with some polka dot greens and i'm going to just get that stuck on it does go over a little bit but i quite like that if you don't have shapes you don't have to do a shape you know this doesn't have to happen right i'm gonna get that is that sort of it? I think so. I'll move it a little bit down. Right. There we go. And then that's going to go just over the lace like that. This work, glue is working fantabulously. I'm, oh, I'm sold on it. I'm tired of all the gunking up of the art glitter. So I'm sorry, art glitter. <laughs> You're having a break because... I haven't got time for that. I ain't got no time for that. No. I spent my life washing those nozzles and trying to sort the thready bittiness that was going on there, which is a shame because I like that glue. Right, so we've got that on there. We've got that on there. This goes around the back like that. And we are good to go. Now, all I want to do... Gosh, every time I say, <laughs> think of that song. Right, um, not going to burst into song. <laughs> right, so we are good to go. Let's get this onto our page. So we're going to take this. We are going to hold it on this side because that's the side we don't want glue. And I'm going to make this a pocket. So I want to just get that close enough to the edge get my flowers in at the same time like that it's a big pocket we don't need it to be that big but you know you never know what you want to stash in here there we go and then I'm gonna get that there's my fold line over there so I'm gonna have it sort of like that and I prefer it when I use my pencil but I haven't done so <laughs> there we go and then I'm going to just get that stuck down so that side is open all right so you've got your little bits in there turn that down and we've got our two little cards
in the top there. So that's that one. And we've got our little journal card that's gonna pop in over there. All right, so that's the one. Let's put that to the side quickly. And let me grab the other signature. Okay, so I have taken this out. I'm gonna show you where this page fits in. I have stuck it down. I have actually left this bit open, although we don't need it to be open. All right, so you can, if you don't like that bump, you can put a different piece of like tea stain paper or something over there, but I'm just gonna to have to live with that now. I can just smooth it out with my bone folder a little bit. All right, so there's that. And we've got this bit over here. Now let's just put in our bits and pieces. So I have got these four little cards. So we've got this little one, the bicycle, the hat, and the little girl smelling the flowers. I'm gonna put two of them at the top here. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna take these two and put them at the top here. Yeah, I'm gonna take these two and put them over here at the bottom like that. Yeah, and then I'm gonna open this up and we are going to put this card along with our little envelope that's now got this attached. I'm going to slide the journal postcard um, like that and I'm going to put it into our belly band here. All right, so we've got that. And then um, possibly it's better if I change this around like that, I think. I'm just thinking about the bulk in the middle here. Oops. <laughs> right, so that's going to go over there. Yeah. And then over here, we've got these two little cards. So we've got a tag. And we've got our little girl sitting on the chair as well. And I'm going to just slide her in like that. All right. So there we go. We've got that over there fold our ribbon down we've got that over there and we're gonna we've got that as our finished project all right now that one goes in the second signature now it's the very first lace page so it's close to the front and it's going to go this with the bag goes on the inside over there like that all right and that's going to go in there and that's going to go over there so that's our two variants on a similar theme there. So we've got that one and we've got this one. Yeah. I like the teddy, so he's going in the front <laughs> or maybe not. Yeah. All right, everyone. Those are the projects for today's little project. I hope you've enjoyed. You know, I'm saying that and I haven't put the decorations on here. What is wrong with me today? Right, I'm going to put these on quickly. I've got these two bits here. And I've got that over there. So I'm going to put that on over there and that one sort of over there like that. Let me do that quickly. Okay, so I've stuck those two die cuts down. I want to just on this piece of lace, I'm just taking off a bit of the the base bit so you just got like a pet leaf flower a bit and i'm going to just use my fabric tack just to get that on here i can't believe i almost forgot to show you the the, the the most exciting bit for me which is the decorating i like all the little bits and pieces so i'm going to use this i'm going to get it just over there and I'm going to use this little one and stick that down as well. So yeah, I have been making quite a few of these little seam binding flowers. And if you want to know how I did that, I have got that all in the little video where I showed you how to sort out the, the, the signatures. So if you're not sure, go and have a look over there. Really easy and really one you can do in front of the telly as well. So I did enjoy it. So I've just stuck one on each of these. 
and then I've got the little butterfly which I want to just give a little dusting here around the edges it takes the white off if you do this and then I'm going to just got lots of glue open here glue all over my hands everywhere blue bits <laughs> all sorts um, I'm going to just get that facing this way because there's a fold line there you I'm mindful of that but I'm going to just put it over here I think that's it right um, and then this little bit here this little gold flower I'm going to just put it on the little girl's circle and that's going to finish it all off nicely all right everyone so there we have it um that's our little projects for today i hope you've had fun with them um i love that the fabric tag gives you time to rearrange everything especially with these little flowers um so you can pull them out i've got a thread there i'll sort that out in a minute but that's what i've got for you today go and have fun with these and a great one to make for um, in many variations for many a journal theme all right really easy and go and have some fun all right guys i'll see you on friday friday i've got the mini journal coming out for the little ladies which i've had put together um i'm very excited about that one as well it looks absolutely stunning and i've got two variants for you as well like normal and a nice freebie with that one as well Okay, have a great week and I'll see you all on Friday. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.